Hello, this is Tommy Newcomb with VerifyHistory.com and today we're going to build our own billboard road sign. We chose a place that where we know the owner and we have permission to place this sign here and we know there's about 5,000 people per day drive by here. This sign is uh, pretty much a big piece of uh, particle board, 6 feet by 5 feet, feet and we purchased the letters. We bought these letters at Hobby Lobby. We didn't try to paint them on because it's really hard to paint with a stencil or something like that. We're using two 4x4s for the posts. They're about seven feet tall roughly and there's a 2x4 frame in the middle as you can see there that's in sort of a rectangle fashion. Now the exact measurements are not really critical. It's just uh, important that everything is even with itself. Um, so we're going to lay everything out on the ground and then we're going to hammer it together while it's on the ground. We made that bicycle up there also. The rear wheel is from a kid's bike and the front wheel is just a hoop that we found and we painted it all black and welded it together. We used wire, hard wire for these spokes. These are uh, little reflectors that we're going to use to get attention to our sign. Uh, we just drilled holes into them and we put nails into them and we'll show you that later. But first of all, let's lay everything out and hammer it in. Here's our uh, 2x4 frame. Uh, we have a 1x4 trim on the outside and you can see that's painted black right there. We're going to find a good location for this near the highway where it's uh, clearly visible and we're going to dig our first hole with post hole diggers. That's really nice to have someone else do this for you while you tape it. Once we get one hole in, we're going to line it up and that, that way we'll know which where to put the second hole because it's lined up with the second 4x4. We don't have to do much measuring this way. Also, we know that we're on a slight incline here from left to right so the right hole is going to have to be a little bit deeper than the left hole. It's really important to get this right the first time so you don't have to take the pole out twice. Try to do, try to measure twice if you can. This is sort of a two-person job so we're going to put the sign into the holes and get it stabilized and we notice that middle part is pretty even. We might need to throw a little dirt on the left side or the right side depending. Here's a quick shot of the completed sign once again to refresh your memory. We're going to push the dirt in and stabilize that and notice all the supporting brackets here. We have a heavy rod going up into the bicycle that's welded and we have it in two places going through the wood. We've drilled holes in the top. We're going to secure that rod to the sign and make sure that bike is really secure so we don't have to go out there and fix it again. That goes all the way up into the wheel which is uh, welded there's another weld and it comes through the sign two times and we're going to also stabilize that again. Here in the back we've clamped down our rear wheel and tied it pretty tight and hammered it in. There's the back wheel again. And the front wheel. It's gone through twice. And we're going to clamp it to the side here yet again and nail it in um, just to make sure that bike doesn't catch some wind in a, high, in a storm or something. Now that we put the dirt around our post, we're going to drive a stake into the ground and stabilize this post even further. Notice the that block of wood there is staked in the ground and it's support, it has a support beam. We're going to do that on both sides and in the back, the front and the back. Now we have one side already put up and it's sort of a hollow. There, Notice our raised letters that were cut. Uh, we painted the sign yellow and then we put the letters on top. We just nailed them in. And here is our finished sign. It's completed. We've got everything in it we need. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at these little 
uh, reflectors that we put on it. At night, these really shine as cars drive by, and we we stuck them out a little bit from the board so they blow in the wind and sort of reflect a lot of light. Uh, they'll reflect sunlight and car lights as they drive down. This is downtown Miami, Oklahoma, and I am Tommy Newcomb with VerifyHistory.com. Thank you.